Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Civil Construction and Twitter and in this video I will show you how to design beam manually. So basically in the structural report that we submit to the municipality or the client, we have to show a sample calculation of the beam. So for that this video may be important for you. So here you can see this is a structural report. So I have shown the beam design. And for this beam design, we have to take various data from the ETS. For example, uh, grade of concrete, grade of steel, moment, shear force, torsion, etc. And then we will design the reinforcement using the established structural codes. So this is the building that we will be considering for the beam design. And this is the Excel sheet that I will use. So in the Excel sheet, you can see I have to give material properties, section properties and using the design moment and torsion moment from the ETAPS, we will design the flexible reinforcement and similarly considering the shear force, the shear design of the beam. Also we have to check for the deflection on the basis of the reinforcement provided. I have already uploaded a video regarding the design of the beam with the full theory explained. I will also put that in the description box, you can check there. Here I will show you direct calculation explaining the formulas and the codal provisions that I have used. So without any further ado, let's start. I will take the data from ETAPS and for that we have to run the model and go for the concrete design check. So after the concrete frame design, uh, you will have to select one of the beam that you want to show in the calculation. So let's go to the first floor. I will select one of the beam here and we will design it. So let me select this one. So right click over here and go to details and in details you have summary over here and you can select the data from here. So let me export this to as a word document. So I can just copy the value. So this is the summary. I'll split the window and put the value directly. Grade of concrete as 35. So 35. Similarly, grade of steel is 500. 500, okay. And modulus of elasticity of steel is 20 to 10 to the power 5 MPA for mild steel. So it will be 20 to 10 to the power 5. Now section properties. So the width is 375 mm. Similarly, overall depth of the beam is 650. Clear cover as per IS456. Clear cover for the beam shall be 25 mm. Effective cover. So basically effective cover is computed as clear cover plus diameter of the shear bar that is steer up plus diameter of the main bar divided by 2. For now, considering clear cover as 25, diameter of shear bar as 10 and diameter of the maximum size of the longitudinal bar as 20, this comes as 45 mm. Now effective depth is simply D minus D dash, so 605. Effective length of the beam, you can find this over here. So the length of the beam, that is the length here, 6.19 meter. Okay. Now flexural design of the beam, governing combo. So you can, to show in the report, we'll just put the governing combo. You can find this in the output. Here you can see combo ID. So this was the governing combo that is dead load plus 0.3 times of live load plus RSX that is response spectrum function in X direction. This is for NBC that is Nepal building code. If it was IS code then you could have seen Decon S7, Decon S8 or anything like that. So you can just put over here as control paste and here you can put match destination formatting so it will be as it was. For this governing combo, the design moment you can find that over here 208 kilonewton. So 208 and factor torsion moment. It is 59.158. So basically you can find in IS456 clause 41.4.2 the longitudinal reinforcement shall be designed to resist an equivalent bending moment is equal to MU plus MT where MU is the bending moment at the cross section and MT being the torsional moment that is converting this term. So TU is the torsion moment. So we have to get the ultimate design moment using this formula. So basically this is the equivalent design moment that we have to consider. Now we have to check for the limiting moment whether it will be designed as a singly reinforced or doubly reinforced. So limiting moment MU limiting and this is as per the clause G that is annex G 1.1 C from IS 456-2000 using this formula that is 0.36 FCK B XU max into D minus 0.416 XU max. 
and 0.1 0.416 is for the grade FE500 and similarly XU Max this is from class 4562000 class 38 and it is equal to 0.46 times of the effective depth we get the value as 643.32 kN meter and we have to make a comparison between the ultimate design moment and the limiting moment so if this value that is the ultimate design moment is less than that of the limiting moment the section will be designed as a singly reinforced else it has to be designed as a doubly reinforced and in this video i will be explaining about the singly reinforced section only for the doubly reinforced section so i have the excel sheet for that also i will show you that in the next video in this case we have to check for the strain at the level of compression of steel because compression is steel as well as tension steel is provided so that will be a different check so we'll do that in the next video since mu is less than mu limiting the section is designed as a singly reinforced section now depth of neutral axis so that was the maximum neutral axis depth and this is the actual depth of neutral axis depending upon this moment so using this equation previously we calculated mu now we have the value of mu and we have to consider the value or we have to compute xu so on solving this equation as a quadratic so basically this will be a quadratic equation so solving this we will get the value of xu as 115 mm and ast required is to be calculated considering this moment so mu and this is from the is code as well so mu divided by 0.87 fy d minus 0.416 xu so considering this xu we will calculate the area of steel required for this moment 115 and 303 so we get the value of area still required as 1251 mm square now to satisfy the area required we can provide a different size of the bar so for now i am providing four numbers of 20 mm bar which gives me an area of 1257 a slightly greater value than the required one so let us provide five numbers of 20 mm bar then this gives me 1571 mm square obviously you can get this idea that is 5 into area of 20 mm bar which is 314 so this gives me 1571 mm square flexural design is done now let us move to the shear design of the beam we have to consider the clause 41.3.1 that is equivalent shear equivalent shear vc shall be calculated sorry ve shall be calculated from the formula ve is equal to vu plus 1.6 times of tu by b VU is the equivalent shear and TU being the torsional moment. So let us go to the summary of the beam. Here you can see the shear force and reinforcement for the shear. Similarly, torsion force we have already discussed about this. So the shear force is 220 kN. So I have already entered this value. And similarly, this is the shear force due to the formation of plastic thing at the beam GP. You can find this in the output. So it is 141. And maximum design shear force at the end is equal to VDU that is equal to given ultimate shear plus VP this two and this has to be converted into equivalent shear by considering the torsion moment and you can find this as VU plus 1.6 times of TU by B so this comes as 613 kilo Newton now we have to compute the reinforcement with the consideration of this shear force in the output also you can see here the shear river required ASV by S is equal to 2140.22 mm square per meter. So this is the reinforcement required. So let us compute this with the shear force we have considered over here. So basically required shear reinforcement. So this is equal to this which is in kilonewton should be converted into newton divided by 0.87 into so I am considering this formula 0.87 into Fy into D and as this comes in terms of mm but I have to compute this in terms of meter that is mm square per meter so I will multiply this by 1000 So 2169 mm square per meter but this is without the inclusion of the shear strength or shear capacity of concrete. So we will calculate the shear capacity of concrete and deduce it from the 
shear strength required and we will compute the shear enforcement required so that depends upon the percentage of tension reinforcement so you can find the table 19 of IS 456 2000 so in the table 19 here you can get the design shear strength of concrete for different types of grade and percentage of the steel in that particular section so for now I will show you another method also so this is from SP 16 that is from the heading 4 that is shear and torsion design shear strength of the concrete can be computed by using this formula which depends upon the grade of the concrete that is FCK and beta where beta is nothing but 0.8 FCK by 6.89 into PT that is percentage of steel and according to that shear strength of the concrete comes as 0.58 Newton per mm square that is the percentage of steel is 0.69% and percentage of steel is computed by this formula that is 100 times of the area of steel provided by cross-sectional area of the section. So the nominal shear strength of the concrete computed is 0.58. Now similarly we can also compute the value from this table by using the interpolation. So let me show you that also. I have prepared our table over here to compute the shear strength. So in the left hand side we have to input the percentage of steel and in the right hand side we will enter the nominal shear strength of concrete from the table. So for M35 grade concrete and the reinforcement percentage is 0.69 for now. So we have to interpolate between 0.5 and 0.75 and the values corresponding to this percentage is 0.50 and 0.59. 0.5 and this should be 0.75 similarly it is 0.5 and 0.59. And the percentage of steel is 0.69 percentage. So the nominal shear strength comes out to be 0.57 from the table and 0.58 from the formula. So we'll consider this formula for now. So nominal shear strength is 0.58. Similarly, tau u max, this is the maximum shear strength of the concrete, and this is from the table 20. For M35 grade, it is 3.7. At no case, the shear stress on the section shall exceed this value. So 3.7, okay. And the maximum shear strength in terms of kilonewton, this is basically tau uc into bd. And maximum shear strength is 839.44 kilonewton. And this is with the consideration of the shear reinforcement. The equivalent shear, or we can say design shear v is greater than that of the capacity of the concrete. So shear reinforcement shall be provided to resist the force equal to design shear force minus shear capacity of concrete. Now, let us design for that particular value then. So considering shear reinforcement of diameter 10 mm that is the vertical steel of 10 mm and the number of legs 4 and ASB that is the area of shear reinforcement basically for 10 mm bar considering 4 numbers of legs then ASB is nothing but pi d square by 4 into number of legs. So we get this value as 314 and the spacing of shear reinforcement this can be computed using this formula and this is from the IS code as well that is clause 26.5.1.5 and this value comes to be okay let me remove this floor formula for now so this come to be as 172 mm and I had considered the floor formula that is it will decrease or reduce the value in terms of multiple of 25 so I got 150 mm as you by using this formula and this value shall be less than this following parameters so these three are from IS456 and this is from the criteria for ductile detailing that is 13920-1993 so shared design is also done now the final check is for the deflection and this is as per clause 23.2.1 from IS456-2000 and the general idea here is to check allowable span to effective depth ratio and calculated span to effective depth ratio so basically for the deflection check this condition shall be satisfied that is this represents the allowable span to effective depth ratio and this is the calculated span to effective depth ratio now let us understand all these parameters for computing the modification factor that is gamma we have to consider the required tension reinforcement and provided tension reinforcement so with that we will compute the value of gamma and for alpha basically it is basic value of span to effective depth ratio alpha and this depends upon three criteria that is the section is cantilever simply supported or continuous you can find it over here similarly 
modification factor that is beta so up to span 10 meter the value of beta will be 1 and for value greater than 10 it will be multiplied by 10 by span so for now it is 1 because the span is 6.1 meters only and for gamma that is the modification factor for tension reinforcement we have to consider fs that is steel stress of service and it is equal to 0.58 times of area of cross section of steel required divided by steel provided so this comes as 230.92 so area of reinforcement required was 1251 and provided was 1571 similarly mu by bd square so i am showing you a direct approach to calculate the modification factor else by using this value 230.92 and the percentage of tension reinforcement you can directly compute the modification factor so i'll show you both the ways for computing the modification factor we have to compute this term that is moment by bd square this comes as 2.21 and we will compute required modification factor and actual modification factor required modification factor is nothing but alpha that is the basic value of span divided by calculated span to effective depth ratio and this is simply span divided by the provided depth 6.19 divided by 605 so this comes as 2.54 and actual modification factor is computed by using this formula from the curve also you can find so fs is 230 here you can see the curve 240 so 230 will be near to 8 and the percentage of reinforcement provided is 0 0.69 so 0 0.8 0 0.4 so this should be 0 0.6 so 0 0.69 over here and 240 so almost it is 1.2 and the value cannot be greater than 2 for the modification factor so in the calculation also you can find minimum of 2 or this value so i get the value as 1.21 so it was almost equal to the value we got from the curve so the actual modification factor is 1.21 now and the remaining modification factor that is delta and lambda you can find this in is code so this is for the modification factor for compression reinforcement and ratio of wave width to the flange width now we are considering a rectangular beam that is the ratio of wave width to the flange width is 1 so the reduction factor will be 1 and similarly for the compression reinforcement let us consider the same percentage of reinforcement as tensile so considering that 0 0.69 so the value will be over here and for that the modification factor is 1.15 modification factor for compression reinforcement lambda will be 1.15 and reduction factor will be 1 for that is for the flange to wave ratio so allowable span to effective depth ratio l by d that is alpha beta gamma delta lambda 26 into 1 into 1.21 into 1.15 into 1 so this comes as 36.17 and the calculated is that is l by d this as 10.23 so it is safe in deflection I hope this video helped you and if it did help do like and comment in the video and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. Thank you.